the first thing you notice is just how happy the children are. There's this wonderful balance here at Cumna between both a relaxed atmosphere and yet this fun, busy, purposeful life. And it was something that struck us immediately when we arrived. So Cumna for a long time has had its motto, aim high, be kind, and dare to be different. We want to use the right balance of support and challenge in helping our children just excel. We want them to love the pursuit of excellence, whether that be in the classroom, whether it be in the music department, the drama, the sport, the art, the DT, or indeed even in their relationships. We want to have children that are excited about doing things really, really well and becoming the best version of themselves. At Cumna, we've got a fantastic group of talented staff and part of my job as well is to empower, to liberate those staff in order to deliver the very best education they can for the children so that their passions, their expertise, their joy of learning is really transmitted into the children. One of the proofs in the pudding, if you like, of how important academic life is here at Cumna has been in the investment in facilities in recent years, particularly our STEM centre where we house our science, our design and technology and our information technology. We feel we've got a great facility that is a fantastic launch pad to really excite our pupils about the potential of those STEM subjects. We want to look at a curriculum that is, is relevant for the world today, that's going to focus on the, the key skills, it's going to enable our learners to go on to their senior schools with a fantastic platform and with the right learning habits and attitudes. One of the other things I really am passionate about though um, is our footprint as a school and how we are being more sustainable as a community and what are we doing in terms of our education and giving our kids opportunities to make their world a better place and how we're empowering them to do that. Uh, the pastoral life is fundamental to any child's learning and experience of their educational journey. We've been really blessed here at Cumna with some really innovative and forward-thinking staff uh, that a few years ago uh, developed a whole school mental health and well-being curriculum uh, called iSpace. And what this curriculum does is builds up positive emotional health habits. They have the right mantras, they have the right vocabulary to help them navigate what we know is an increasingly stressful life. At the heart of sport at Cumna is sport for all. We want to give absolutely every child in this school an opportunity to engage with our sports programme, to learn the key skills and strategies and gameplay within those sports, and of course, to represent the school. Everybody loves feeling part of a team and having the opportunity to run out and be part of a match. One of the very special things about Cumna is the match tees. I'd say three things. One, we've got a great catering team. I mean, their catering is brilliant. Can I just grab a cake there? Two, just the setting, the view over the South Downs is just stunning. But thirdly, and probably most importantly, is the big hearted warmth. So you get swept up uh, into the atmosphere and the culture and the community, which is just fabulous. It is such a privilege to be the headmaster's wife in a school like this. I love living here and it's such a special community and such a fantastic place and I teach some French here too and I love that I'm getting to know all these lovely little children in pre-prep and they're all part of our lives and it's so special. When I eat, finally leave Cumna at the end of their time here, uh, I think they'll leave first and foremost with amazing memories of the experiences that they've had here, whether it be at plays they've been a part of, the sports events, the science weeks, all these different things that we put on here at Cumna. But ultimately, the things that people most treasure about their time here are the relationships and the friendships that are formed.